everyone, Dr. Chris Fox here. Today we're going to take a look at the supine to long sit special test. This test is used to see if there's any anterior posterior rotation of the anonymous. You're going to have your patient in supine and have them bridge up first. So go ahead, Brian. And then back down. This is to kind of just realign the pelvis and the spine. And you're going to provide a little traction to the lower extremities and assess the inferior aspect of the medial malleoli side by side. What you're looking to see is this one leg appear shorter relative to the other. Next, I'm going to have Brian go into long sitting. So go ahead and sit up. And we're going to see does the leg that was longer shorten or lengthen relatively from that position. Thank you. That, based on those findings, if the leg appears like it lengthened, we would assume that it is a posterior rotation. If it appear, the leg that was longer than shortens, we would assume that it is an anterior anonymous. The way to remember that for me is that posterior is a longer word, so if it lengthens, it's posteriorly rotated. If it is anteriorly rotated, since it's a shorter word, then it shortens. Now, remember that these tests by themselves do not have very good diagnostic accuracy. We want to primarily base our SI assessment off of the pain provocation and then other impairments as well to couple with this finding. 